Hello everyone, welcome to session 2 of this series. So as part of this video, we are going to build a simple REST service using Spring Boot. So first you need to go to Google and type Spring Starter. So you go to Spring Initializer. So group ID is com.example. Let's keep it as it is and artifact ID as demo. And for building a REST service, we need the web module. That's what we need. And then if you look at the full version, you have everything the packaging we are packaging as a jar package name will be com.example.demo description will be demo project for spring boot the name will be demo artifact will be demo and you have list of modules which spring provides so as of now i mean you can choose whatever modules you need based on your project requirements but as of now for building a simple rest service we are going to choose only web module that's what we need then let's generate the project Go to downwards and then import the project in Eclipse. So once you import the project. The main applications will be already there when you create a Spring Initializer, um, when you create a Spring Boot project from the Initializer. You just need to write a controller. Annotate as REST controller so that Spring will identify this class as a controller. Then have a public method and have the endpoint defined. Just written hello, written a string. Um, now that's all. That's um, and as I was telling you that you will have minimal dependencies in the POM file. If you look at the POM file here, you just see the starter and the web module. That's all you need. And all these dependencies. Spring will take care and inject all these jar files or all the dependencies as uh, part of your class path. So in earlier, when you're developing Spring application, you need to have these many dependencies as part of a POM file, which is very um, tiring process. So now Spring will Spring Boot will take care for you, right? So now let's go and run this application and see the endpoint whether it's working or not. So now go and type localhost. I think it's already started. Not yet. Okay, now it started in 8080. So you can change the port whenever you want it um, by going to the application.properties. But now let's see um, the endpoints. See, you get the response back, hello, right? So as I was telling you, you can change the um, port as let's say server dot port as 5000. Now if you restart the applications, the endpoints will be accessible and uh, on port 5000, not 8080. Let it get started. We'll see uh, the port here. Okay, 5000 is already been used. Okay, I have another application which is running, that's the reason. So now let's start again.
see you got the application started on 5000 port now you go and uh, access an 8080 you'll not get the response back you'll get a um, 404 or an base scan display message now if you access 55000 you'll get the response back right so now this is string response you're getting uh, what if you want to get a response you want a response in json so for that you can have your own response object um, let's create the response object inside the same parent package inside the demo package called my response and have a couple of attributes private empty status private string message and uh, generate the getter setter let's stop the server now go to your controller and instead of string have response entity my response now let's initialize my response my response then response like set status step status dot king dot value successfully got the response right now import this package and instead of return hello you can do return new response ntt my response is missing here now let's run once again the application one more thing to note here so you can run this Spring Boot application in multiple ways uh, either you can run as our applications or you can go to the project folder and uh, run as um, MBN Spring Boot column run or you can do the target folder and do Java minus jar and that particular jar so now uh, let's see um, how we get the response back right now. Woohoo, you got the response back as JSON, right? Um, that's what we wanted. So now let's, um, as I was telling you, let's go to uh, the project folder. Edit demo and do a MVN spring boot colon run. See, you can start the application by using the MVN spring boot colon run command as well. So we'll get started, we'll see the endpoints. Okay, now let's hit the endpoint once again. See, you got the response back. Uh, so there is another way, as I was telling you, um, you can stop it and can uh, build this project. And once you build this project, one jar file will be created. Um, one snapshot jar will be created uh, under the target folder. You can go to the target folder and can do a java minus jar and the particular jar so then uh, your application will be started then you can hit your endpoints to get the response back so now you go to target see the snapshot jar got created the demo snapshot so you can do java minus jar
let's wait for this application to boot up yeah it got started now hit the endpoint same endpoint you'll get the response back right so that's all about um, Spring Boot uh, sample rest service so we are able to build a sample rest service by using Spring Boot so that's all about this video in the next video we'll um, learn about logback how to configure logback uh, for logging so um, thanks for watching stay tuned for the next lesson